Hi guys, what's up? It's just the usual day. Today is a very good day by the way. I have found some photos, some legit very, very, very interesting photos that actually people try to snuggle inside an aircraft. Do they not know what not to take? They can't take scissors, they can't take bombs, they can't take animals, they can't take people inside their suitcase, you know? A suitcase is just for clothes and makeup and camera and nail polish phone there's a limit where you have to take you know a precise amount of mobile phones in the aircraft you cannot take more than that airports are very strict and why would anyone want to smuggle these things over there and especially weed marijuana why in the world girl do you love jail do you want to go to jail let's just spice things up for the people that were found smuggling dangerous things on an aircraft. Which place? It's a lipstick that has a knife. Wow. Actually, this is for self-protection. You know, whenever someone is trying to, you know, grab you by the neck and you cannot stab him with the knife. It won't kill him, but it will injure him very badly. It's just a nail polish. I'm trying to snuggle this nail polish. But it's a knife. I'm gonna stab you with that. That is a very dangerous thing. To do not play with that. Girls can snuggle this thing? How did it even get in the detector? How did it even get there? It's just in the shape of a lipstick. Girl, how did you get caught by this? You had one job to take a knife. How could you get caught with this? We have a Scooby-Doo sticker. I love Scooby-Doo. But wait, it's not a genuine Scooby-Doo sticker. It has a blade behind it. I have to give applause to, you know, TSA to find such a small blade behind such a small sticker. How do you do this, man? If someone comes in my house with a grenade in their hand, I would let them in. How is this possible? How can they find such a small thing? TSA, salute you. Guys, you are very talented. Marijuana in candy wrappers. This is a very good idea. Wow, it's actually candy for, you know, drug addicts. It's actually candy for drug addicts. I have a bad habit to pick up the mic every single second. If people are addicted to chocolate, they are drug addict or are they chocolate addict? Are they drug addict or are they chocolate addict? Am I doing a legal thing by the eating chocolate? I do care punished. Not by the law, by my own body. My teeth. My teeth rot from inside. And also, do not, ever in your life, do not eat marijuana or smoke marijuana. I don't even know if they have to eat it or if they have to smoke it or if they have to, you know, shove it up their nose. I don't know because I don't know anything about drugs. But you not take them. Your body will punish you for that. It may even kill you. I heard about drug overdoses that uh, whenever a person is consuming more than, you know, more amount of drugs in their system and they actually can die because of it. Same goes with chocolate. If you eat so much chocolate, if you eat a dozen of bars, candy bars, you will get diabetes. Man, you will get diabetes. It's the truth, my man. It's the truth. You cannot change it. Eat less chocolate. Be healthy. Oh my god. How can people be so cruel? How can someone snuggle a parrot? Exotic bird, okay. I think it's a parrot. I never saw an exotic bird. Oh my god. Even two boys in socks. How cruel can people be? This man should be also wrapped around in a sock. Even if it doesn't fit in your socks, you have to make a big one and then stalk him in so he can realize how these birds were feeling for two hours. How can humanity be so, you know? Even if I saw a raccoon like this, I hate raccoons, but if I even saw a raccoon like this, I would shed in tears. How cruel can people be? Why do they need exotic birds? If you want it so badly, you can buy it in your own country. Why do you have to snuggle them? Just imagine, just have, you know, some hard man. It's also a woman. I always say that women have a warm heart. This woman does not. Oh my god, that bird is so thirsty. It's so, you know, it's so cute. Oh my god, so happy being out of that stocking. Five dead, endangered seahorses. I'm a little terrified about this. Why do people need animals if from another country? Because they are cheap over there? That's why they need it? Or is there any other reason? Just tell me, man. Why did you need five dead, endangered seahorses in your liquor bottle? The TSA would actually think that you are the person that would kill them. Man, how cruel, how my mind shatters on humanity after saying this. Oh, that's so the cute hour. It was snuggled in the bag? Are you serious? What if it barks? Everyone would hear him. 
If you have ever seen, you know, behind the scenes where they actually take your luggage, they actually throw it. They pick it up like this and throw it like this. They don't put it like this. Oh my precious darling bag. You must have a chihuahua inside of you. So I will put you very carefully. No, that does not happen. They just throw it like this. Oh my God, that is such a cute chihuahua. It's so miserable. It wants to leave its own owner. Chihuahua, you should bite him after seeing him again. Bite. Bite him so hard that he wouldn't know. He should be stuffed in a suitcase for doing this. Cruel humanity. I'm sorry, dog. I'm so sorry, behalf of humanity. Anything that is pointy or sharp, you know, by the edge. Sharp like a knife. I was just gonna put my own eye. Do not play with these things. Knife. As pointy as a twig, as hard as hell. You cannot take them. What are these? Did they take him out from Grand Dragon Ball Z? You know that picture I told you once about? You know that one? That picture is of Lord Krishna and he had in one hand has this thing. You know, it's just spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. And whenever he likes destroy the evil from the earth, he just throws it like this. And then it comes back to his hand. It, that wasn't a fun fact. But that is dangerous. I'm telling you that it is very dangerous. If God has that weapon, it's damn dangerous. What is new in this? It's just a phone. What's wrong with this? No, 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 no. It's not just a phone. It's actually a stun gun. Why in the whole wide world, in, you know, the big, huge, enormous, gigantic world, would you want a stun gun in the airport? Where airport is, it's more safer than your house. There are security cameras in each foot. Why would you need a stun gun in there? I take my words back. There are hijacks on plane. I take my words back a little bit. I only take 1% back because airports and planes hijacks are a whole different thing. Usually some girls actually, you know, carry pepper spray with them and some girls, you know, the two person phones that are extra, 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 extremely extra, extra conscious, they carry stun guns in their bags. Man, you have to go away from me. I have a stun gun. It will shock him to death. What a disgusting pen drive I have. I have to change it. I have seen this. This is just peanut butter. What could go wrong inside peanut butter? But wait for it, wait for it. And someone opens the jar, they see a white thing. There's actually a cylinder that has cocaine in it. How could TSA, TS, is TSA God? I don't have words for this. It's so damn weird. I think this is a fake pick. This is not a real pick because no one would ever pass the x-ray machine with this. They all, people are not dumb. This is a fake picture. This not happen now. Remember I said that you can only take a certain amount of mobiles with you? This guy has 23 phones attached to his chest and stomach. I have heard that iPhone's uh, prices uh, increase and decrease as per country. So he was just trying to smuggle these iPhones and then sell them in the black market. Good idea, but you were gonna get caught. How would you pass the electric thingy? You know, the one that you pass through when it... How would you pass that? I don't remember the name. Metal detector. Metal detector! Metal detector! Have you ever seen that movie, you know, the one that has snakes filled with planes? <laughs> Plane filled with snakes in it and snakes eat are killing each and every person on that plane. This would happen if these reptiles get out of that bag. This would really happen. Why would a human do this to any living thing that breathes air? We have another stun gun in the shape of a lipstick. This lipstick was actually found because airport security actually thought that this was a very weird shaped lipstick. So they tried to open it. I have a weird shaped lipstick. I have these type of lipsticks which are from Maybelline. I took them to Goa. No one stopped me for this. Thank God no one stopped me for this. I have to be careful on what I take on my plane otherwise they will, otherwise they will think that I'm a terrorist. And it's somewhat similar to this one. If I take this, would anyone tell me that I'm taking a stun gun with me? I will take you anywhere. I don't care if they have to check me twice. How would anyone be able to take a missile with them? Is this a missile? What is this? It looks like a bomb. What do you think it is? Comment down if you know what it is. I do not know what this is, man. It looks like a missile that will, you know, blow up the whole entire world. Do you not have fear, man, to take a missile with you? What if it exploded in mid-air? You will also be dead. I think he got 15 years of jail for this, even if it wasn't active. Okay, you will not see anything in this photo. You will just see a plaster. But no. No, 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 no. Sorry, a little over-exaggerated. 
You will not see anything in this photo, just a regular plaster. I think anything is like about the plaster. It's actually a plaster made out of cocaine. How creative can cocaine addicted people be? They would break their leg for this. They would break their leg. They would actually sell a kidney. I have heard once one story that a man actually sells his kidney to have drugs. I would not sell my kidney for chocolate. I'm not a chocolate addicted person. <gasps> Is that a baby tiger? Remember I said something about humanity. Oh my god, it is such a cute tiger. Its mouth is even shut. How is it able to breathe? There's also a stuffed toy over there. Can you see it? There's a stuffed toy so you won't, no one would recognize it. And if, if the airport security would find out that there's a tiger inside of a suitcase, they would just say it's just a stuffed toy and it would open his eyes and say, <laughs> I'm not a stealth toy. I'm actually a tiger. Please help me. <laughs> how cruel can humanity be? I don't know how cruel human humanity will be after 20 years. If this is happening in 2020, what? Imagine what would happen in 2040. Humans will eat humans. Humans will become zombies. The zombie apocalypse will happen. Show a little humanity man whoever is doing this to innocent animals. I know they also have attacked humans, but they don't know that these are not our food. Whatever thing is moving, that's actually their food. Why don't they eat fruits and plants and all those? They are carnivores. They will eat you if they find you moving. But we are not carnivores. We are not animals. Why do you snug animals like this man? If you want a tiger, you can buy it. I know it's hella expensive, but still you can buy it. Why torture this beautiful, beautiful little, little baby in your suitcase? How would you even think that it would breathe inside that small thing? And it's also sleeping. How terrified would this animal be inside that? Animals attack humans because they don't have trust on us. They don't have trust on us. That was a bit of a merchant that comes. Every single day, I, you won't show up. Every single day at this time and ruin my whole day. I don't even buy things from him. He'll just yell and yell and yell. You can't do anything about it. Okay, guys, that was it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be updated to my new video. And if I said anything wrong, I'm sorry about it. Namaste and bye.